y'all, welcome to Cooking with Papa Tuck and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. Today, we have a special guest, Michelle, and we are going to be cooking up pastrami and Swiss family style for those families that are on the run. Pastrami and Swiss sounds wonderful. Isn't that nice? Yes, I like it very much. You like it. Idea. I do. Hello, everyone. I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you all. And we're on this beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard. Mm -hmm. Where do you come from? How long have you been on the island? I'm from California. I'm oh, from Hollywood, California. Nice. I've uh, been here for three years. Oh, nice. I absolutely love it here. Absolutely. Very nice. Yes, it is. Love nice. having you on the show. Yeah, I gotta say it's much better than Hollywood here. It would be. Being here is much Just better being than here is? Than really? Yeah, it's very much. Is it more pleasant? Is it it's a better organic. atmosphere? It's more organic. It's more organic. The sense of community is much greater. Uh, I actually know my neighbors, which is very nice. That's cool. Yeah. What's nice here, you don't have to lock your door. I love living here. I never lock my door. I love living on, on this On my island. house or my car. Yeah. 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 And it's the tourists are starting to come, so you're getting to see yeah. people from all over the world again. Yeah. yeah. And I love that part. And actually, it doesn't make a difference to me, winter or summer. I love it here, period. Yep. Me too. Yeah. Me too. It doesn't matter if it's snowing out. I live right on the glue and I open up, there's the ocean. Exactly. I, I love exactly. it. Absolutely love it. So we're making pastrami we're and Swiss. Make, yes, and this, this meal is awesome for families. Mm -hmm. uh, you got mom and dad working hard, kids in school. I mean, it's, it's tough, especially in this economy. This economy today sucks. So this is a very inexpensive meal. Um, I went down to Reliable, down to Bob's, and I picked up some pastrami, and I picked up some Swiss cheese. And he, Bob really caters to the island folk and the tourists. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has beautiful prices. So, I mean, you got to make your dollar stretch. Exactly. I mean, yes. you go into Chronix and you go to Stop and Shop. And I, I just, at Stop and Shop, Chronix have good prices too. Of course. But Bob, I was at Bob's and I like to get a lot of my product down there. So, let's get this going. And what we're going to do first is we're going to use our Presto. Mm -hmm. I love my, have you ever cooked in a Presto? I have not. I'm well, excited. What, what, what makes it so special? This thing is awesome. I started using the Presto because of the one camera and I'm new, blah, blah, and it's hard to get a good shot of the food for the viewers. Right, behind you. Because I only have the one camera set up. That makes and sense. You know, yes. So I went out and I bought a Presto. And I've mm -hmm. cooked in a Presto you know, years ago, but I never really paid too much attention to it. Mm -hmm. This thing is awesome. Mm -hmm. I cannot say enough about the Presto. Mm -hmm. So, And I wanted to talk to the Presto company about it, actually, because this thing is awesome. So it's kind of like a... Uh... Is it like it's an electric fryer. fryer? It's an electric fryer. It's an electric okay. fryer. Okay. You know, okay. you take your top off. You, I, mean, I cook everything in this thing, and it is so easy to clean. All you do is go over the sink, run hot water, soap, rinse it out. I love. I mean, it. It, I it love just, the depth of it. I love the fact that you can actually make some wonderful sauces. Oh, it's awesome! And Presto has the Grandpa deep fryer. I do chicken wings in it and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. In fact, maybe I'll have you back onto a show where we can do some cheese sticks. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do some homemade uh, pop top cheese sticks. My son loves them. And we, and, and Grandpa, I'll show you that after. But Grandpa, Grandpa Presto is about this big. And it actually has a plug on it that's magnetic. Mm -hmm. And if it gets hit, it comes unplugged. There's no electric. Mm -hmm. It's very, mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do first is we're going to toast up some rolls. We picked up some rolls. Doesn't matter what kind you get. And we're just going to put, usually you would butter these. But I'm just going to throw some butter in here. We're going to melt the butter down. All right. Throw these babies in and toast these up. Put them to the side. They're going to cool. Doesn't matter. Kids love them. And then we're going to cook up our pastrami. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's, right. get, let's get some butter in there. Let's get some you butter can, in there. Yep. Grab a, grab a knife out of there. And uh, that's perfect. Throw it right in there. There you go. And then turn that on about 300 to get her up to temperature. 300. Yeah. All right. This, Isn't that reminds, nice? this reminds me of a, sort of a, the crock pot idea. Yeah. Yeah. But they have crock pot. They've got everything. Yeah. I'm telling I gotta, I, I am going to talk to the Presto people. I, I just want to thank Fantastic. them for this thing more than anything. Fantastic. We're going to put the top on that. We're going to start. Help, to help the butter melt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So you just put that on there and you just let the butter melt. Yeah. Uh, so you can then toast the buns first. We're going to toast the buns first. We're, we're, gonna, toast the buns we're just first. like grilling them. And, and, I, and I also have a beautiful cast iron grill over here that I picked up at Shirley's Hardware Store in Tisbury. And this is awesome for grilling. It's, I mean, this thing is, I can't say enough about it. And it's cast iron. Mm -hmm. And I love cooking on cast iron. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Love Absolutely. That. That's yeah. something that, uh, again, my mother used to, to use was yep. a cast iron skillet. Yep. And plenty of our meals were made. Yep. My dad had a little skillet. cast iron pan that he would do eggs in the morning, and he could just flip it like that, and the egg would flip. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. In fact, my dad made this meat board. I remember that in one of your shows. Yep. I yep. do remember that. And I use that all the time. Mm. All the time. So where are you from, Papa I'm from upstate New York, upstate in the lake, in the lake Georgia area. And how does a yee-haw fit in? It's like, yee-haw, <laughs> you can't be cooking with Papa Doc. That's what my... <laughs> from upstate New York. <laughs> from upstate New York. My grandfather used to say that. So, oh, okay. And then in the family, like I, my mom's Italian. Mm. So Papa is Grandpa. Oh. Tuck. Papa Tuck. Very nice. So that's basically where that Well, I guess I from. can call you Papa. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> now we're starting to melt in there nice and we're going to be very careful how we handle the presto because we don't want to scratch it yes so i mean i just i'll do it with the knife but i'll just spread that butter around a little bit like this no big deal nice and even yep nice and even slap the top on for a minute i'm going to actually roll that butter around a little bit like this let it melt a little bit, and we're gonna, and you're gonna take and put some rolls in there. Awesome, great. Pull the top right off of that. Move that just a little bit more. And all wanna, we want to do is, all we want to do is brown these. Do you want to put them face down? Face first? down, face down. Yep, yep, face down. So I guess put that's them right in the butter. Myself, yourself. Yep. And Kyle. Oh yeah, I got to get the camera person in there. And Kyle. There you go. There you go. Just twist them around a little bit, and then we'll put the top back onto it. Just like that. And we will let yep. these brown up a little bit. All right. Now, this all started with my cookbook. Mm -hmm. Now, I wrote my cookbook, and that's how this show started. Mm -hmm. And you can go on my, my uh, website at papabooks.net, mm -hmm. and I have it set so that I put these recipes on there. Mm -hmm. People can copy and paste. And that's if they don't want to purchase, they don't purchase. If they purchase, proceeds go to food pantries. So you have your recipes online. Yes, I. I you have your recipes. I will put my okay. recipes as I do my shows up for thirty days, and then Wonderful. I just keep turning them. So the ladies can actually. You don't have to sit and write this down, ladies. You can actually go online and receive the uh, the things that you see being made here. You can actually just. Uh, to look at it while you're cooking. Exactly. Very nice. yeah. Exactly. Very it, nice. And then if you have a problem with it, you can also go on my website and click view shows mm -hmm. and you can actually watch it on the computer if you have any questions or you can email me at pete@papabooks.net and my email is on the website. Any question I get I get a lot of emails and I answer them all the time. Mm -hmm. So, if so you have questions. a cooking with Papa Tuck. Which is yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and my cookbook. And you have another book here. And this is the Outlaw Deer Hunter. It's a novel which is awesome. That just actually hit the market a couple months ago. And we've got the children's book, oh, Pumpkin children's Bunch. Fantastic. You know, that's about a little girl who goes down into the underworld and helps save the kingdom. Pumpkin Bunch Land. Very good. It's being turned into a cartoon. Fantastic. And then, and then we just started our Papa Tuck's laundry detergent. Hmm. And I'm trying to put this together to bring more jobs for the American people and to help portions of this go to food pantry. Yes. So this is really all. I mean, and it's eco friendly. It, and it's eco friendly. That's it's eco friendly. Thing. And the people are going to be seeing it in the store shelves right? So that's what's really cool about it. That's great. I like it. I Green like is it. good. Green is good. Green is, Green good. is good. Especially today. Let's right. check these out. So it's been about three minutes. Yep. Let them brown there. They're warming up. Let's stir them around a little bit. Yeah, you don't They're need to microwave. Just starting to brown like a little these. bit. See? Just starting to brown a little bit. Very nice. So no microwave. Pop that back in. No microwaves. <laughs> They're just about there. We'll let that go. Uh, maybe another minute. We'll push them down a little bit, just like that. Pop the top back on. And presto chinjo. Presto. Very nice. Presto, presto. I love my presto. And you might as well take and get some of the pastrama out. I'm and so I'll excited. Get a, I'll get a little plate for it. You like? Do you like pastrami? I like pastrami. I was I was actually a vegetarian my entire life, but ever since I came to the vineyard, I have uh, abandoned those ideas and nice. I have eaten everything that I can 